Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duelist and today doing a Dino Mist deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys because this deck was actually suggested to me by one of my patrons, Zach. And this deck is an extremely fun pendulum deck that can turbo out some really cool boss monsters. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell in there so you can come part of the notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like in your name, description, every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your patron. And definitely give Zach some love down in the comments down below for suggesting such an awesome deck. So let's get straight on into this one, guys. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Dino Mist Rex. Dino Mist Rex is an awesome boss monster for the deck that has the ability that if this card attacks at the end of the damage step, you can actually treat one of your other Dino Mist monsters to activate one of these effects. This card can make a second attack on an opponent's monster in a row, and if it does, and it attacks a defense solution monster, it does piercing damage. Or, you can shuffle one card from your opponent's hand at random or their side of the field into the deck, and then this card gains a hundred attack points, which is a great ability. We then play three copies of Dino Mist Ceratops. Ceratops is really cool as a three of extender in the build, because if all monsters you control are Dynamis monsters and none of them are Ceratops, you can special summon this card from your hand, which is a really cool effect just to instantly get this card out on your side of the field. We then play two copies of Spinos. Spinos is actually my favorite Dynamis monster and is actually just an OTK machine. With the ability that you contribute one other Dynamis monster to activate one of these effects. So this card can attack your opponent directly or it can make a second attack during each battle phase's turn, which is such a powerful ability that this card can attack your opponent directly, especially when you activate limit removal with this card, boosting it to like 5,000 attack points to swing directly, which is so cool. We then play two copies of Brachion. Brachion's great as a 2 of because if you do not control a Dynamis Brachion in your monster zone, and your opponent controls a monster that has the highest attack on the field, even if it's a tie, you can special summon this card from your hand, which is a great ability just to instantly get this card out on your side of the field. We then play three copies of Dynamis Terran. Terran's really good as a 3 of As this card has the ability, when it destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you could add a Dynamis card from from your deck to your hand, and it doesn't just have to be a monster, it can be any Dynamis card, which is really cool. We then play two copies of Dynamis Placius. Placius is great because this card actually reduces your opponent's attack points down because all face-up monsters your opponent control lose 100 attack and defense for each Dynamis card you control, which is a great ability because it actually stacks, which is great if you have two of them on your side of the field. We then play a single copy of Ankylos. Ankylos is really good for graveyard heavy decks because banish any monster destroyed by battle of the Dynamis monster you control is a crazy powerful effect, especially if your opponent wants their monsters in the graveyard yard, making this card a definite one of in the deck. We then play a single copy of Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus is great, but you only need a single copy in the build, because if another pendulum monster you control battles an opponent's monster, after damage calculation you destroy those monsters, which is a great effect, but again, one is really all you need. We then play three copies of Dynamite Power Load, the Draco Slayer. This card helps us get our monsters out of our pendulum zone because it lets us target a Draco Slayer or Dynamis card in your other pendulum zone and special summon it, which is a crazy powerful effect just to be able to pendulum summon and then use this card's ability to get an additional monster on our side of the field, which is just really, really good. We then play a single copy of Luster Pendulum. Luster Pendulum is really cool because we have a bunch of cards in the extract that we can go into using this card, like our copies of our Dynaster Power, the Mighty Draco Slayer, or even our copies of our Ignister, which is just really nice. But this card is great in the build as one of because we do play Draco Face Off. Speaking of Draco Face Off, we also play two copies of Vector Pendulum, the Drake Overlord. For our copies of our Draco face-off, I feel like two is the correct number for this card, but it's really good to be able to play in the deck. We then play three copies of Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom is definitely a three-up just to stop your opponent from touching the deck. And then finally, we play two copies of Effect Veiler. Effect Veiler is really good just to stop your opponent's monster effects, and it's just a really good card overall in the build. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get into the spells.
So for the spells, we're gonna start off with three copies of Limiter Removal. Limiter Removal is definitely a three of in the middle because this can double the attack points of all of our Dynamis monsters, which is so cool because they're all machines. So we can OTK our opponent, especially when you combine two copies of this card with your copies of Spinos, that means you're probably OTKing your opponent, which is so cool to be able to do and I absolutely love that. But this card is really cool as a three of them today because you can also use this card like a trap card to be able to flip against the opponent during their battle phase to make sure that they're not going to swing through our dynamis monsters they will get destroyed but that's totally fine because we can just pendle them some of them back out to the field we then play three copies of draco face off draco face off is really cool as a three of because it lets us reveal a draco slayer pendle monster and a draco overlord pendle monster from our deck your opponent rarely picks one of them to place in your pendulum zone or special summon which is our choice then add the other card to your extract face up starting to load the extra deck so we can start special summoning cards out while also getting us one of our monsters on our side of the field which is just such a cool ability we then play three copies of Dino Mist Charge. Charge is great in the deck as a three of, because this card is basically Rota for the deck, because when it's activated, you add a Dynamis monster from your deck to your hand, and once per turn, if your Dynamis card is added from the field to the extra deck, face up, you can add that card to your hand, which is a great effect to be able to use, to basically just use this card to be able to get those cards back to our hand so that we don't have to summon them into the extra monster zone or into a zone of link monster points to, which is really important so we can just swarm the board with our dynamis monsters. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get in to the traps. So for the traps, we're just gonna be playing three and that's gonna be three copies of Dino Mist Howling. This card is one of the most powerful cards in the entire deck because it gives us our pendulum scales with the ability that when this card is activated, you place one or two Dynamis pendulum monsters from your deck in your pendulum zone, but you cannot pendulum summon until the end of the next turn, except Dynamis monsters, even this card leaves the field, which is totally fine because we're just using this card to get our scales so we can swarm the board on the follow-up. And also it has the ability of ones per turn. If this card is already face up in the spell and trap card zone, you can tribute a Dynamis monster and the target a card your opponent controls and return it back to the hand, which is great to bounce cards off your opponent's side of the field back to the hand. So that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get in to the extra deck. So for the extra deck, guys, we're going to start with a single copy of Dynaster Power. This card is great as a one of in the build, but you really only need a single copy of this card with the ability it takes a Draco Slayer Pendulum Monster plus a Pendulum Monster to make this card. And it must first be special summoned from the extra deck by tributing the above cards. And you don't have to use Polymerization, which is a really cool ability. And Pendulum Monsters that in your Monster Zone and Pendulum Zones cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, which is a really cool effect to just give us a little bit of protection. And I love that about this card. And also once per turn, you can special summon a Draco Draco Slayer Pendulum Monster from your hand or grave, but it cannot be used as a fusion material, which is totally fine because we also have copies of our Ignister, which Ignister is really powerful in this deck as a two of, because it has the ability once per turn, you can target a Pendulum Monster on the field or one card in the Pendulum Zone, destroy it, then if you do non-targeting, shuffle one card on the field back in the deck, which is a crazy power effect just to get rid of one card off the field, making this card a definite two of in the deck. And also once per turn, you can special summon a Draco Slayer monster from your deck in defense position, but it cannot be used as a synchro material for a summon, which is totally fine because we can basically go into our fusion plays. We then play a single copy of Bahamut Shark so we can step into our copy of Totally Awesome. This is just a really good way to get a negate on our side of the field. Plus it's super easy to put two water level fours on the field. We then play a single copy of Cyber Dragon Nova so we can make our copy of Cyber Dragon Infinity, which is also a really easy way to put a negate on our side of the field because you just make your copy of Nova first and then make Infinity on top of it. And it's really easy to put level five machines on the field. We then play a single copy of Typhon. Typhon is crazy in this deck to be able to make because it's so easy to make be on the follow-up to be able to just lock down your opponent for 3,000 or higher attack point monsters and it's a really easy card to make in this build we then play a single copy of double a zeus double a zeus is just great to be able to board wipe the field because we make so many different xz plays in this deck one copy of access code because it comes out absolutely massive we can pop multiple cards on the field one copy of exceed the pendulum exceed the pendulum is really good for its arrows but it also gains 100 attack for each pendulum monster card that you control which is a really cool 
cool ability. And if this card is Link Summon, you can actually add one face up Pendulum Monster from your extra egg back to your hand. And during the main phase, quick effect, you can special summon a Pendulum Monster from your hand or grave in defense position with a level between the Pendulum Scales of the two cards you have in the Pendulum Scales, which is a great effect to be able to use just to be able to bring your monsters out to the field. We then play a single copy of Selene because we do play Effect Veiler in the deck, so we can bring it back to our side of the field to climb into access code. Play a single copy of Beyond the Pendulum. Beyond the Pendulum is great for any Pendulum deck because it searches cards and it pops cards on the field. Play a single copy of SP Little Knight, which you can change out for Nightmare Unicorn if you don't have this card, but it's great in the build if you do because it is a double disruption and it also has a crazy powerful effect that it just basically banishes whatever you want, which is amazing. We then play a single copy of IP Masquerade. Uranus, we can make the SP Little Knight during the opponent's turn, or again, if you don't have SP Little Knight, you can change it out for Nightmare Unicorn to have a more budget option. So, that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This deck is super fun to be able to play. If you guys have never played Dynamis before, you should definitely give this deck a try, because it's a really fun Pendulum deck that can summon out some really cool boss monsters like Cyber Dragon Infinity and Totally Awesome at the same time, which is so cool to be able to do, and I absolutely love this deck. So, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification, so you can come for our notification squad, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.